Hello and welcome to Editex server. Today I am going to show you how to make FTP server in Windows 7. Here basically I am using Windows 7 so I will show it how to make a FTP or how to create a FTP server in Windows 7. To make a FTP server first of all we have to go to control panel and the control panel is the basic controlling unit of Windows. So I will now go to control panel. I am here control panel now I have to go to programs here are the programs I ha now I have to go to program and features uh, don't uh, worry we don't have to uninstall any program we just have to turn on a windows feature so at the left I can see that the turn windows features on or off so click here and it will uh, take some two or three minutes to open uh, uh, so uh, be patient and wait for it here I have to find the internet information service to make FTPs that is called IIS that is IIS I have to uh, check the plus mark here and I have to mark the FTP here right now right like this and I have to also tick mark uh, management tools that I can manage my FTP which is uh, like that IIS management tools so I have already marked this up so I don't I don't need IS 6 I only need IS 4 so I have done it and I now have to do ok so that was all how I can basically turn a windows feature now I have to go to control panel again I have to go to all here where is my all here is my all and now I have to do the same thing that I have to go to administrative tool to make my uh, FTP so I have to go to administrative tool in the administrative tool I can see that the IIS that is internet information service is added in my administrative tool folder uh, that is here IIS internet information service I have to open it by double clicking it so it will open And here it is opened. I can see that uh, there is at the left side there is the name of my PC or desktop or my laptop which is Onyx PC. And I have to right click here. I have to add a FTP site here, and I have to give a FTP name which I will give my FTP name which a uh, uh, name I would like to give. I will give my OT Tech support. then I have to add a physical path physical path is the hard drive of your PC or laptop that drive you want to share with your friends and other users the same LAN or same Wi-Fi users they can access in your hard drive and they can download the files from the hard drive and that is called the FTP and in that case what is FTP FTP is a way that you can share your files to other users so they can see and download your files from internet and obviously there will be a high speed downloading speed the, uh, than the natural speed of your download so that is the main funny things or uh, uh, that is the main vital things of FTP so I have to share movies D drive with my friends to make my FTP and now I have to go to next here and I have to go to IP address here basically what is IP address IP address is the internet protocol number of my desktop or PC so I have to see my IP address to put here my IP address to go to to see my IP address I have to go to start and I have to write CMD it will open my CMD and I have to just like this dialog box will open here and I have to write here IP config IP C O N F I G IP config and I have to put enter and there is the window I have opened my IP is open here and which is my IP here see here my mouse this is IPv4 address this is my IP address and my IP address is 192.168.0.11 which is my IP address so I have to now write my IP address in the box that is 192.168.0.11 so 192.168.0.11 and I have to give a port here I, you, I think you all guys know how to port port is the gateway of my internet and I have to write the port at the 80 which is uh, the 
basic port and with the common port of internet uh, so i have given 80 <coughs> so no ssl here uh, and here the virtual host name if you have any website you want to make you want to add to your ftp then you can write your website like www dot dot something your website name to here and write here next and click these two button basic and anonymous and here the users you want to share your files with the users i will give the wall users and i i will give the read permission only so finish that was how basically i i have made my ftp and i will click here sites and here is my ot text about ftp sorry yeah that it has started so uh, here i can see that it has status is uh, started ftp so now i have to go to my firefox web browser to see if it is started or not so to go to my ftp for my uh, firefox or any web browser i have to write our ftp clone that was slash slash and my address 192.16 8.0.11 and then my port port was 80 here i can see that my ftp is open in my firefox browser and this is my movies bangla english hindi sn1 sn2 and other things okay and i will open in my folder of my hard drive which is now opened in my firefox web browser so that was how i can easily make a ftp service and make visible to my files to the other net users or same wifi or lan users on the same network connection so that was all how i can make a ftp service and there is uh, there is a basic things that might stopped you to make a ftp service which is windows firewall windows firewall basically protect you <coughs> to uh, uh, to use your laptop or desktop freely so if you want to make your ftp visible to others you have to first turn off your windows firewall otherwise it will protect you to make your ftp visible to the others so that for that i have to go to all control panel again and i have to go to at the bottom of my windows here is the windows firewall i have to open it and at the left side here i can see that turn windows firewall on or off i have to click here basically i have i have already turned off my windows firewall that is like turn windows firewall off click here and click here and click ok so that was how i can easily make a ftp server server in windows and share my files with my friends uh, so if you like this video please hit like to our youtube video and subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to comment if you have any question and the video description our facebook page and our website link is given do visit in our facebook page and like our facebook page and visit you to our website to uh to get more tech news and tech update that was all today's videos thank you for watching everyone